parties have grown to the bottom three to stay home. Do you think that will change their approach? No, they'll be positive. They they got pace. They play play with wingers. They're a dangerous side. I think you know. Every, every time I've seen Palace play this year, I've been impressed with them. So, and Neil War not coming back to QPR is going to want a result, isn't he? Neil, it'll be a tough game for us, you know. But it'll be a good London derby, hopefully. You know, we've got two home games. We need some good points out of these two games if we can. It's going to be a scrap. There's nothing in it down the bottom, is it? It's it's there's seven or eight teams are going to be involved in it, you know and. That's how it's going to be, really. There's no reason for the fans to be anything other than, than, than warm towards, towards Neil, first time back. No, of course not. He did a great job there, Neil, didn't he? No, Neil Warnock did a great job at QPR. So, um, I don't, you know, he's, he's, he's doing a good job at Crystal Palace. You can only do what you can do with what you got. <coughs> you know, that's how this game is, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, if, you've got the, if you can go out and buy the best players, you can have one of the best teams. If you if you've got a small budget, it's uh, it's a different game, and it? it's there's seven. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. you've been involved in this fixture either as QPR or, or Crystal Palace boss nine times and, and, and never lost. It, uh, Neil Warnock's never lost. I won't come then. <laughs> I won't bother. I won't come. No, I've, I'm going to go shopping with the wire to the sales. <laughs> Are you expecting anyone anyone back who wasn't available today? Well, I couldn't. The problem you had today, Matt, was you, is one or two of them can't play three games in two days. It's not possible. Two games in, in in whatever. We've got one day's rest tomorrow. You know, Richard Dunn couldn't. You know, Dunn has been great for me, but he, he can't play today and play. Uh, well, we Sunday. It's impossible. Clint Hill. You know, another one. Clint's 36. You know, I wouldn't ask, couldn't really ask Clint to play two games. Bobby Zamora is the same. I took, you know, I took a gamble bringing Bobby off the bench. Anything, you know, he's he's sitting there, cold, you know, soaking wet, and I'm he's coming on without really having much of a warm up. Anything could have happened, you know. It's so, I, I had no choice. I couldn't play at some of the lads today. They wouldn't. They can't play two games in in that quick succession. It's not possible for them. And we have got three or four long-term ones, Sandra and people like that. So, um, you know, even Leroy Fur today, you know, Fur's on four bookings. It was a juggling act. Do I take a chance for him today? Get a booking. We've got a home game to come. You know, I've, saved, I've, I've, I've kept him for, for the Palace game, really. Barton. Huh? Jay Barton's got a hamstring. He had a hamstring, yeah. He had a, not too bad a hamstring, he had a, he had a bad one, we kept him out for six weeks recently. This, this is a grade one that, um, that is not too bad. He's got a slight chance, he's got half a chance to be fit. You know, I wouldn't, wouldn't like to say he, he will be fit, but there is, we, we're hoping, we're hoping he might be okay. Okay guys, thank you. Thanks lads. Thanks.